Hey everybody, thanks so much for checking out this video. So if you're tuning in here, hopefully it means you've already seen the making of the Cinderella bodice. If not, I will link that video in the description below and you can check it out there. But this is just me walking through and making the skirt for my live action inspired Cinderella dress. It's based off of the simplicity pattern. It's pretty simple. I don't think there are that many steps. But again, just like with the bodice to this dress, I changed a bit from the pattern. So I changed it up how I constructed this. And again, it's not attached to the bodice. There are no zippers. It's actually just an elastic waistband where if you're kind of newer to sewing or if you don't have a zipper foot, this is a great way to change the costume to where it's something that you're comfortable working with, comfortable even wearing because elastic waistbands can adjust so that if you one day decide you want to wear a corset underneath or one day decide you want to wear a huge hoop or a huge petticoat underneath. But I wore actually both the hoop and the petticoat underneath my skirt. Just the elastic waistband is nice so that depending on the day and depending on what layers you're wearing underneath, it will still fit and you'll be comfortable. So without further ado, here is the making of the skirt. So as kind of shown in my previous video of the Cinderella bodice, the first thing I did was to cut out all of my panels for the skirt. And this will require a front panel, number 11, and then the side and back panels, which are number 12. And in total, you should have five panels, one front and four of the side and back. I also serged all of the edges of each panel just to secure the fabric and make sure it doesn't fray. So next what I'm going to do is start assembling the pieces together and it's really quite simple. Base everything off of number 11, the front piece, and pin a side panel to each side and just sew it on through the machine. Then go ahead and pin another side panel on and run it through the machine until all of your panels are attached and connected together. I then went ahead and finished the bottom of my skirt by doing a double fold hem all the way around and ran that through the machine. Careful of all the pins. I repeated all of these steps for each layer of the skirt. So I had the base blue satin, and then I had two layers of blue tulle, two layers of purple tulle, and then this pretty shiny top organza layer. I've now lined all of them up and I'm going to run a basting stitch along the top leaving extra long tails so, so I can gather the skirt in a minute. And here's the awkward part. Somehow I lost all of the footage of working on the actual outer skirt to the Cinderella dress. So the next you're about to see is the tulle petticoat I made to go underneath and it's made of all the same steps, all the same pieces from the pattern, just in a pink tool. So, hope you don't mind. Holding two of the strings in one hand, I'm going to go to the other end of where my stitches are and just start gently pulling to gather all of the layers of skirts. This, I believe, still has five layers of tool and then the one of lining, so carefully gathering all six layers so that you don't rip the stitches out. I gather it to the length that I know is just a few inches more than my hips. And once that's done, I tie all of the threads together and cut off the excess threads. Next, I'm going to make the waistband, which is made of these four pieces, and I'm just tracing and cutting out some interfacing to help keep it sturdy. Now I'm just ironing on the interfacing I 
I'm removing the backing of the interfacing and then sewing them right sides together. Next, I get to attach the yoke to the skirt itself. And since this is in two layers, I'm just going to sandwich the skirt between each side of the yoke. And I'm having it going down against the skirt so that once it's sewn up, I can flip it so that wrong sides are together and there'll be a nice, pretty clean seam along the skirt where the yoke is attached. Now that it's sewn on, go ahead and flip the yoke up to its proper position. And to make the actual waistband for this one, I'm just taking some ribbon. And again, it's the same idea of sandwiching two layers of the ribbon around the yoke so that I can flip it up and the seam will be nice and clean. Now, just sew the top of the ribbon closed. Next step is going to be adding the elastic. I have attached a safety pin to it and I'm just gonna run it through the whole waistband. And remember, when you're sewing your elastic clothes, to use a zigzag stitch so that if it stretches and pulls, it won't tear the stitches. And that's all it is to make the skirt for your Cinderella dress. And now you can also know you can apply it to a petticoat. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you tune in for the next sewing adventure.